Hello, my friends. Welcome to Spicy Cat Colors. My name is Kathy. I am happy to see you. I am here a little bit late, but that's kind of what happens on my channel. If you're a seasoned friend, you know. If you're a new friend, you will soon, soon, soon learn. <laughs> I'm making my own words. Just got off a 12 hour shift and I'm like, I need to film this and then I can sleep. So what am I filming today? We, meaning I, am going to give you a update on my first quarter of coloring. I kind of hit and miss did this last year, had the intentions and it just didn't happen. So I thought, well, first quarter's done. Let's see how we're doing. I'm going to show you my 10 books to finish slash focus on, give you a little bit of a planner update. I did do a video at the beginning of the year specifically showing my planners, so I'm just going to give you a quick little peek at those again to show you how that's working out. And yeah, let's just dive in. So this first planner journal thing I have right here, this is a bullet journal. It is um, actually in French. I got it on the Lyrica website and I use it and I really am happy to have it. I decided to use it to track all of my French Disney coloring books, specifically the color by number ones. And that way I can see and then I'm marking as I color pages. So I know how many, um, what books have more colored in than others. And yeah, I don't know. It's just a fun little way to do my inventory. So I just kind of adapted this to be what I wanted and it is working quite well for me. This journal I started last year. It is a hardback journal I picked up at Target and it is my completed pages journal. So I decided it would be fun to just track every page I color and just have that in a book. Last year I put the pages, the actual like book and page numbers and stuff in my coloring journal. But this year I, I'll show you what I'm doing, but I'm also just doing a, um, tracking it here. So as you can see in 2002, I started and had done, you know, started with page one. So in 2023, I have, at the end of the first quarter, I had colored 1,049, oh wait, no, sorry. <laughs> I colored 125 pages in the first three months I have, since I started this journal, I've colored 100 or 1049, sorry. Anyway, um, color coding and all of that just means something to me, but it's really a fun way to track. And then I put at the beginning of the book, like my totals. So it'll be fun by the time this book is finished to see how many total pages I've colored. Another little journal I set up, this was, um, the journal was a gift from my friend Dory, and it was set up as a actual planner journal, but I adapted it and changed it to my buddy color tracker. So I gave um, number allocations to each tab, which had been months. And then I go in here and like everybody I buddy color, I alphabetically give you a little box and then in here I have a spot for their name and then I can like put a date and what page we colored. Just, I don't know why, I just thought it was interesting. There's people I love to buddy color with and then I, um, I sometimes like get busy with life and I'm like, hey, I haven't buddy colored with someone for a while so I can just page through and find them. So this is also working out the way I planned it. And now I need to reset to get to the big planner. Okay. This is a big one. It's yeah, it's really big. So yeah, you're going to see some of the um, mess on my desk. Probably there's always, you know, stuff on the side here, washi tape. Uh, whoa. And then I just totally bumped you. Okay. So this is the Sarah Renee Clark coloring planner. And it's my first year using it, and I wasn't sure at first, but I think I actually am liking it. Sorry, I know I'm bumping, have to readjust things on the table, and you are attached to the table because that's the only way I can do it. So I'm, I've am i made some adjustments from when I initially showed you my planner setup, so I want to show it to you. 
So this was just my fun cover page. So here's where I put my 10 books to finish. Now, to be fair, I actually have five books to finish and five to focus. Five um, publishers slash artists to focus on. And I did that last year and it worked really well for me and I actually succeeded almost. <laughs> but um, this way it just allows me because there's some artist publishers that I really love their books and they release new ones throughout the year and I want to be able to color in any of them. So I put basically like the average number of pages in their books. And then so like, for example, I have Camellia Angel Cova Mandalas and Camellia Angel Cova Miniatures. And those each, most of them have 50 pages. So my goal is to cover 50 mandalas and 50 miniatures by the end of the year. So hopefully that makes sense. And then these five books I'm actually going to try and finish. And my bonuses are I want to do 100 pages in my large Disney color by numbers. And I want to color in 100 previously untouched books and this can include new books so it's a big number but I'll go through that in a minute as far as like how I'm actually doing on those books then um this has been working this is just my like summary page where I give you my stats for the month so I kept that here is where I am keeping track of the nails my nail art that for the year so it's already pretty fun I use mostly like polish strips, either um, Color Street or Jamberry, and I just stick them on here. There's always at least one extra, and then I wrote the month. So I'm hoping I will be doing a second one. It's like every month I've only really done my nails once, but I should be able to do a second manicure for April because it's already halfway through, and I put these on like right on the first, and they need, they'll need to be changed. So what I'm doing for every month is I'm not worrying about coloring. There is some like coloring pages or it's mostly just patterny stuff. Oh, sorry. I have a cat jumping on the recliner and he's so heavy. He just put the like back part down and it was kind of squeaking. I was like, what's that noise? Oh, it's just Huey on the recliner. <laughs> okay. I'll zoom in a little bit. So I'm using scrapbook paper, scissor, scissors, stickers. I have a bunch of paper crafty stuff in my um, supplies, so I am trying to use it. And so what I am doing, so in this book, I just write down the book I colored in, the artist slash publisher, and the page. But here I'm actually printing out a little snapshot of the pages I colored. I do take a picture of all of my pages because then I like to use them for various prompts and scavenger hunts and I just do all of that digitally on my phone. So at the end of the month I hook up my phone to my computer and then I print the um, from what was it called the contact sheet or basically like the thumbnail of all of the files and then I paste them in here. So I think this is pretty fun. I'm not bothering to like write in the book or anything like that because like if I need to know I can always reference it in my other journal. And then I print out the um, thumbnail for my completed pages video just letting to know how many pages. So this is fun. Then I have been doing group buddy colors. Thank you to everyone that has been participating. If you are new, um, check out my plans video every month. I do two group buddy colors and one of them I come up with a specific page that also is a prompt. So if you don't have that book or have already colored that page, you can do anything with that prompt. So for example, in January, we did New Year and it's it's really been working and Disney that one people really seem to love I have the Disney movies that are represented in my um large Disney hatchet hero books and I have a spinner app and I spin that every month and it decides what the movie is in January I did pick Brave because that was significant to me and then I uh, similar to where I do my pages, I take a snapshot of everyone who participates and posts it, either posts it on Instagram and uses the hashtag Spicy Cat Disney. And then same for Spicy Cat Buddies over here. And I 
print them out so I can have a visual in my, again, this is a journal, but it's really turning more into a scrapbook. And if you are not on Instagram, I always ask people, if you think of it, I don't ever want it to be work for you, but I would absolutely love if you want to email me your, a picture of your page, or if you don't post it on Instagram, but still are on there, if you want to message it to me, just so I can include it. And then I just hand write in the um, person's name. And then these are the pages I did. I just pop up on top. So then if this was the only time I actually did anything crafty, I went on a crafty vacation in January. So I actually used the official planner dates and just kept track of how many pages I colored. And then I printed out, these are when I said I make like the thumbnails when I do a scavenger hunt for a month um, of what I was able to finish. And then I am keeping track of my buddy colors. I try to post all of my buddy colors. I love doing kind of the split screen and I post them on Instagram. So again, I have those files. I just print them out and put them in my book. My two new, so this is the new stuff that I originally didn't have planned, but I'm so excited for because I had these extra pages and I'm like, well, I don't necessarily want to tear them out if I can think of something to do. So I decided I'll do a page where I will, again, pretty much print out thumbnail size of the video title page thumbnail for all the videos I post that month and paste it in here so you can see that's what I did here for videos. And then I also love reading. I don't really talk about the books and stuff I read. I am on Goodreads. And I thought, same thing, I track all of that on a spreadsheet, not to mention it's tracked on Goodreads. So how simple is it to just copy the image of the cover and then I can print them out? And these are all the books I read in January. So that was something new, which I, I really do like. And then the way I wasn't sure yet, I started kind of writing out all my new books. And that, it was just, to be honest, kind of a pain. So I thought, again, I got all these extra pages. So I turned this into a new books spread. And um, same thing, I inventory all of them on a spreadsheet and I copy the link where I purchased it from, if it was from Amazon or Lyrica. And once again, I just save those and then at the end of the month, print them out. So that's how I'm tracking my new books. And then I still have empty pages, but again, I'm not tearing it out yet. <laughs> It might make, I think this might get pretty thick by the end, so we'll see. So I'm not going to, so now you know the gist of it. I'm just going to page through quickly so you can see here February, a lot more people participated in the um, group buddy color with the prompt chocolate and lots of people liked Zootopia. And here are my buddy colors for February. And then same thing, the new things I added, the books I read, the videos I posted, these are the new books I purchased, which again, I still am planning to hopefully have that haul soon. And then I didn't have anything here. And March, I didn't have this done when I did my completed pages, so I'll kind of go through it here quickly. We have, um, these are my pages. I need to print out my one title, title shot right there. And then here were my group buddy colors. I crammed them to fit on two pages. <laughs> so this is a very mosaic-y colorful one. My buddy colors, books I read, videos I posted, new books I purchased. And then here I put my prompts. And I do have, I did a coloring tag video, the um, color your season tag for spring. And what I want to do is I have the, the questions, I had them all typed up. So I want to just type up my answers and then print that out and put it in here. I thought that would be a good spot to put it. So that's pretty much how that works. So I can show you, this is where I started doing my new books and I just write them. But yeah, I, I just don't care for that. And then again, here's my stats where I just keep my social media stats. And then I did a page where I started writing and I'm like, heck, again, I have these pictures. So I keep track of my favorite pages every month, my a favorite color by number and a non-color by number. And I just print those out to put here. And when I have completed books, they will go here. So that is this planner. <laughs> I know, kind of a lot, but um, hopefully that was interesting just to see how I set that up. And now let me go through those books that I talked about. 
Okay, I'm going to keep this open just in case I want to reference it. So I have two bonus books that are not represented here. Last year I did a um, sticker by number book. It had 12 pages and I found it so fun and relaxing. And I have quite a few paint by sticker books. So originally I chose this book, which is Crazy Cats, because um, it had 12 pages. So I just have been going from the front and do one page a month. If you haven't seen these, they're pretty fun. I've already done the ones for um, April. And then I took this book with me on a little mini road trip and I had two pages. I didn't realize how many pages I had done. I had two. So then I thought, hey, this one also has 12. So I took, it was in March, so I did the, a third page. And then now I'm planning to just continue doing a page every month because these don't take that long and they're kind of a nice change or break from coloring so those are going to be two bonus books that will be completed at the end of the year and then to just go through here let's go through so i didn't do like total stats and numbers because i don't know how many people other than myself really care about that and to be honest i barely have time to film so I, I don't want to do that, but I do have it all like color coded on here. So I know how many I did a month. So this first book is a book that I am hoping to finish this year. It is Chompy Fluff Monsters by Morgan O'Brien, volume three. And this is a um, project book with my friend Tammy, Colors 2. And we started out and did two pages. We're just working from front to back. And... Um, now we've amped it up to three pages a month if we want to finish. So these are adorable. Uh, Tammy is like so much more talented than I am when it comes to coloring these. I am a very simplistic colorist, just using markers and maybe a little bit of accents. As I said, she like goes all out and does watercolor, detailed backgrounds, and I do the scribble method. <laughs> And um, so, right, there's 34 pages in here and we have completed eight pages. So this is pretty good progress. Okay, I'm back. Had a double cataruption. <laughs> so where was I? Oh, next book, Mystery Mosaics, book three. This is from Mindware. I really do enjoy these. They are, they are a pixel coloring book. They have 22 pages, which includes a bonus page. And they are a larger size pixel. And they have, I think, are there 18 volumes right now? I have purchased just about all of them because I have the fear that they may one day go out of print. And I just love them so much. So last year I did volume one. Um, I seem to have lost volume two in my house somewhere, <laughs> so I jumped to volume three. And I will show you what I've fit. Excuse me, I got the hiccups now. I have done six pages in here so far, and this is what they look like colored up. This is what they look like uncolored. There's another one. They do have some a double page where the page folds out like this. And I count this as two pages, just because it's the sides like doing a double page spread. Um, did the spider. I kind of hit and miss picked if I needed to do something for a prompt. There is an answer key in the back so you can um, know what you're going to color. And then the color codes here for the color by number are right along the edge here in the gutter. And these are also perforated, so if you wanted to pull, if you wanted to take them out, and the perforation is after that color key, so you would not see that if you took them out. And then, inevitably, it seems I like to like start from the back and work forward, or it just ends up that way. So those are all completed. Oops, sorry, I didn't want to show you the solutions. And then this is the bonus page, which I have not colored before, so I do plan on coloring that. So I think I'm doing fairly well on there. I don't know how many I need to do. Typically, I'll do at least three if I'm going to color in there. So my next book is also a project book. This is Broken Circles, Volume 1. Um, it doesn't say Volume 1, but it's just called Broken Circles, and it's by Tabitha Barnett. And this is a buddy color with my good friend Zombie Girl. 
and we started doing two pages and now we're doing three and this is if you have not seen these um, broken circle books there are two copies and there is one where it is a white background and then the other is a black background so um, zombie girl and i both liked the back black background the best so that is what we're working on i can show you so we've done how many have i done two six and there are 28 to be done so we need to, to do more than that um, i didn't mark them all sorry this was the first month so and we just take turns picking so um i picked the pages for march and now she picked the pages for april and that was our other. so i think that's oh there was one more so these are fun they're fairly quick oh and another one quick to color i like just using various markers and gel pens but another fun book that i'm making progress on next up i have a disney um pickle pixel pickle pixel book these i've also enjoyed coloring and for the past two years i've done one in my 10 books to finish so i basically buy one at the end of the year and then color it so this has 39 pages and i have already done 11 so these kind of the same as the miss or the mindware ones once if I'm out, if I'm coloring in here, I kind of just, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to show the, I wasn't sure if that was the end. Um, I do multiples. So I use mostly Crayola Super Tips. And this one, I will bounce around a little bit to try and find specific prompts. And I've also been doing like a monthly buddy color out of here with my friend Nikki. She also has this book. I don't know if I need to ask Nikki if you're planning to finish it or not. But yeah, I really like how they look when they are done. So good progress there as well. Next up as far as the actual books to finish is Color by Colors, Women's World by Kira Shershneva. This had a total of 20 pages in it. And I had already colored seven, so I needed to color, or I needed to, I need to color 13. So what I did, I didn't even plan this, but in December, or December, January, I colored two pages, which was this one, and this one. And then I'm like, oh, look at that. I can do one page a month and I will be done. So this was my February page and my March page was actually a buddy color was that one. So once this is done, I'll do a full flip through. I didn't show you the pages I'd already colored. So I am on track to finish these. Just do one page a month. So those are the five books that I do plan on completing and all the women's world was the only one that had any pages colored in the other four were completely uncolored in at the start of the year so then when i come to my mandalas i am a bit behind i've colored eight and this is i'm just showing this for an example and plus it's kind of turned into a monthly buddy color with my friend rio and i so we it's just my whole thing is to color in any of the Camellia Mandala books. They could be these specific mandalas. I know I have stylish mandalas and nighttime mandalas. I have, um, I think Celtic, I think it's a Celtic mandalas. But there are other ones that are very mandala-esque, such as there's a Snowflakes book, a Hearts book, a um, Dreamcatcher book. Any of those I consider because uh, it look it's a mandala and then she also has the seasonal mandala books um spring summer well i don't need to tell you the four seasons do i so i need to do more in the mandalas and then same thing for miniatures and if this turns out like last year i like did 50 miniature pages by the middle of the year but currently i've done 14 here's just a miniature a book to show you an example and i think i did do a couple of these Maybe not this year. I did. I know I just did one in March. I did this one in March. So 
Oh, and I did not date that. What the heck, Kathy? I need to finish that, fix that right away because I know we'll just say it was the 31st. Um, I think it probably was because I was trying to finish off things for a prompt. So. so I can do any pages, which include like the title page or the um, nameplate page. And I have all of her miniature books, so it is not a stretch for me to try and do that. Next, I have Color Questopia, and then here's just an example of one of their books. I pulled this book out to color in this month because I haven't colored in it at all, and I'm very excited to do so. So I think they actually only ever have 25, but because of the way I did my grid, I didn't want to cut it off, so I just said 30. So my goal is to complete 30 Color Questopia pages by the end of the year, and I have completed eight. Next is for the Sach Devas, and this could be either for Prachi or Sachin because I have both of their books and I couldn't just pick one. So same thing, um, they don't necessarily have 30 pages, but I just stuck with 30 because I thought it was a nice number. And here's an example. This is my newest Sachin Sach Deva book, which was a birthday gift from a good friend of mine. And yeah, it's adorable. I don't have anything colored in it yet, but I do have a buddy color for this month. So any pages there will count. And then the last one is Belba Family. I don't have as many Belba Family. I have most of the stone mosaics. And I have colored eight so far this year. And I think kind of unofficially, I'm going to try as part of the 30 pages, finish this book. Because I do have quite a bit of this um, stone mosaic book three colored. So I thought... Let's just try and finish this one off because I do have another one of the volumes and then I have the large black edition, I think, which has 50 and I have a couple of the mandala type ones. So I'm hoping to get this book finished as well as hit those 30 pages. And then, so I don't know if I mentioned over here then, so my goal is to do 100 color by number Disney pages. So, and by those I mean in like these books. If you are out on color tube, you've seen a lot of us love these books. They are um, mostly French, but there are Spanish versions available. And they are, um, oh, that's a page I need to do. They look like this. And then when you color them, they look like this. So I absolutely love these. I, um, I mean, I've always liked Disney. I'm not like a super, Disney fanatic, but I certainly enjoy coloring Disney because it's, I don't know, it's fun. I had more than that done in here, but I have a lot of these books. So the thing is I need to color in them if I'm going to continue to buy them. So there, I knew I had some more. <laughs> I love when I, I try to do like the double page and my intention, if I just have the time, I like to do, or I tend to do a lot of buddy colors as well with the Disney, is if I'm doing one page to do the opposite one at the same time. But that all depends on my schedule and if I can get um, my buddy colors done first. So I'm almost on track because if you think about it, for 100 pages, I need to do 25 a quarter. And I did 22 in the first quarter. So need to step that up. But yeah, and as far as books to touch, I, I'm achieving that goal because I have hit 26. So there you go, friends. That's the basic gist of how I am doing for the year 2023 in my coloring plans. I am very happy. I have not been able to color as much as I have in previous years. My life has just been... A little bit topsy-turvy and um, that's okay. I still color to relax and de-stress and have fun. So that's my main goal. Um, if you noticed, I do not have specific like goals of coloring a X total number of pages a month or anything like that. It's completely whatever gets colored. And if I do not hit any of my goals here for my five books to finish and my five focuses or the other little um, challenges I've given myself, it's okay. I don't stress about it. This is 
it's just for me. I enjoy it. I do know I am a person that has difficulty making decisions, even as simple as picking a color or coloring page to color. So by having these focuses and the books to finish, um, it just helps me not have to decide. Because to be honest, I personally, because my coloring time is pretty limited, which is why most of my coloring is pretty simple, color by number, um, basic marker, no shading. So I want to be able to like finish a page when I can. And um, I don't know where I was going with this. I totally lost my train of thought. I don't know. Oh, so then when it comes to like picking a page, I don't want to like take the time. It's like, oh no, I don't want to use up my time trying to like thumb through 50 books trying to find a page. And it's rare that I'm like, oh, I really want to color this, fill in the blank. So that is why also when um, I do buddy colors, I, I let my, if, unless they don't want to, I'm like, do you want to pick the page? Because honestly, I just want to color and make friends and have fun. So that's what I do. And I'm going to let you go. This still got to be long and it didn't need to be, but I'm happy with my progress so far for the year. I'm looking forward to see if, how I can do in the next couple months trying to think. I do have a coloring vacation coming up in May. So uh, even when I do those, I don't always get a lot done. So <laughs> I have, I'm like gone for a whole week and you figure two days you lose for the travel slash packing, unpacking. And so that still gives me five days. And I, if I'm lucky, might get 25, 30 pages colored. And that sounds like a lot, but in reality, I am doing nothing else while I'm there <laughs> except eating and sleeping and talking and laughing and sometimes crying, but I'm just spending time with friends. So it's not like I have any other projects, but it's it's just the escape. So we shall see. If you have, I have seen a couple friends out there have posted their quarterly updates, and I always like to give my... um credit to because the first person I saw do the quarterly update was Nikki in Niagara and that was back I think in 2021. She um, is when I saw her video doing the quarterly updates and I was inspired by her. So if there was somebody before her, I, I'm sorry I cannot give you the credit because she was the one that I saw and was inspired by. So if you actually do not know who Nikki in Niagara is, you should go check her out. She's a very sweet, kind lady. And... Yeah, I'm lucky to have met her. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go. In case nobody has told you lately, you matter. You shine bright like a diamond, which is my little April thing with my shiny diamond nails. And whatever your goals are, don't, don't be discouraged. Be encouraged. A goal is not, you know, if we, if we don't hit a goal... Don't beat yourself up. You know, life happens. Things happen. It's not like, especially coloring isn't, for most of us, it's not a full-time job or even a part-time job. It is a hobby. And hobbies are meant to be enjoyed and not cause us stress or anxiety or guilt or anything like that. So embrace yourself and your hobby and whatever your accomplishment is for the day. Find something and tell yourself, yay me, way to go. To be honest, some days it could be that I got pants put on because that's my life, especially if it's my days off and I don't have to leave the house. More than likely, I don't get out of my pajamas, so putting pants on would be a pretty good goal. So there's always something to be proud of and to celebrate, and I do pray that you are able to see that in your own life. And remember to encourage and tell others that um, when you recognize and see their accomplishments, because we're not, we don't need to be in competition with each other. There is more than enough recognition and success and love to go around in the world. So let's help celebrate each other and not tear each other down. Okay, friends, I love you. I'll see you.